Hey everyone, Sergey Proknevsky here from EucreMedia.com, and in this ninth Learn From The Pro series on Adobe After Effects, we're talking about keyframe easing. All right, so we are in After Effects, and in this video, we're gonna talk about easing. So what is easing? Easing essentially is just us playing with speed of our animations. Right now I have both of these balls, you know, they have the same animation like this, very boring, very linear. And as you can see, it doesn't have any speed ups or slowdowns, but how can we adjust easing or how can we adjust the speed? As you can see, they arrive at the same time, but we can adjust the speed differently. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I want for the yellow ball to slowly arrive to this keyframe. How can I adjust easing on this side? What can we do? Well, that's where a keyframe velocity panel comes in handy. You can either use Control Shift K or you can right click and go to keyframe velocity or you can select this Control Shift K. We'll do the same thing. And then you'll see this panel pop up right here. So the way it works is simple. Imagine this key right here being in the center right here. Now, if you wanna adjust the easing on the left side, you would also go to the left side to do that. If you wanna adjust easing on the right side, you would go to the right side. So that makes sense. So if I wanna add easing right here, I would increase it big time in here. So I can say 100%, which will go all the way to the center between these two keys. All right, and then the speed, I'm gonna say zero. Let's see what that looks like, press okay. So now we have the same animation as far as it starts at the same time and it stops at the same time, but it's gonna look entirely different. So let's preview this. As you can see, it looks much different. It looks way more exciting than this one. It has a lot of personality. It speeds up and then it slowly arrives to this spot right here. So easing alone can take your animation to the next level. So let's keep going. We talked about influence, but let's talk about speed, this right here. So we're gonna go back to this key. We're gonna select this Control Shift K to go to the keyframe velocity right here. And this time we're gonna adjust the easing of the right side. So we have a keyframe, we wanna go to the right side. Again, remember, imagine a keyframe being right here. We wanna to go to the right side, so we're gonna adjust the speed, we're gonna take it down to zero. And influence, let's take it up to 45, something like this. So now it's gonna slowly speed up, go really fast here, and then slowly arrive. So it's something like this. It definitely has a lot more personality than the linear animation. All right, so let's keep going. Now we wanna adjust the speed, so we're gonna select this, Control Shift K, and instead of starting from zero, we're gonna say, hey, let's have some speed. I'm gonna say, let's have big speed, like 2000. So 2000 pixels per second, so it's gonna be really fast. That's really all it is. We can easily adjust the speed and influence of our keyframes. Now you might be wondering, what is the speed graph editor? Well, it's the same thing as keyframe velocity, but in the visual form. Just like we adjust the influence, we can do the same thing on the graph by moving this right and left. We can adjust the speed by moving it up and down. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So the same animation right here, we can go into graph editor right here and make sure it is set to edit speed graph. All right, so we have the same thing we set up in the keyframe velocity. We have it in a visual form and I can prove it to you. So we've set our speed right here to 2000 and you can see when I move this, this right here says 2000 on my end right there. And influence is about 45. So left and right is influence. It's, it's the same thing as that. And then up and down is speed. Again, the same thing for here. We have 100% influence. We can move speed up and down. So you get the idea. It's really not that complicated. Both of them complement each other. One is more precise. You can type your values and change things that way. And this speed graph editor gives you a visual of what your animation is doing. All right, so now that we know a lot about easing, let me show you how we can use it in a real world project. So let's create a transition for this composition. And if you're wondering how we created this, make sure you watch last three videos of these series and uh, you'll be cut up. So now we're going to create a new shape layer. We're gonna select this and we're going to double click on the fill, make sure it's this pink color. And then I'm going to double click on this rectangle tool to create a new shape layer. We're gonna apply an effect to this shape layer, right click, go to effect and then we're gonna to go to transition and click on this linear wipe. So linear wipe will give us this kind of animation. We're gonna start from here and we're gonna animate to the left. 
like that. That's all we're going to do. So we're going to start at 100. Make sure this value is 100. So make sure your time indicator is all the way to the beginning of your timeline. And we're going to set a keyframe at 100. So then we're going to go forward 20 frames, shift page down on your keyboard to do that. One, two. So that's 20 frames. And then we're going to take our value from 100 to zero. And when you change it, it will automatically create a keyframe. So now we have an animation going from the right side to the left like this. All right, so let's make it more interesting. Right now it's very linear, it's very boring. So I'm gonna select this, press U on my keyboard to reveal my keys in here. So as you can see, they're very linear, very boring. So let's add some easing over here to the right side of my key. I'm gonna select this key, Control Shift K to bring up the keyframe velocity. We're gonna take the speed of this side over here to zero and influence of this side to 100. So we're gonna have a lot of easing going on here. So it's gonna be very slow. So it's gonna slowly animate in and then snap like this. As you can see, it's already looking better, but we also want to add some easing to the left side of this key. So we're gonna select this Control Shift K to go to keyframe velocity, and we're gonna adjust the velocity on the left side of my key. So we're gonna set speed to zero and influence to 65, press OK. So now we have something really interesting, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to select this and duplicate it by pressing Control D. We're gonna hold Alt on the keyboard, and we're going to offset this layer by five frames. So hold Alt page down five times. One, two, three, four, five. Let's duplicate this again. Control D. Let's offset it by five frames. Hold down Alt page down five times. One, two, three, four, five. And now we have the same animation three times and it's offset by five frames. So first one, second one, and third one. But I'm going to select all three of my layers by clicking on the first one and then holding down Shift on my keyboard and clicking on the very last one. We're going to look for a property called Size. We're going to adjust the size. So we have the first one right here. So this first one, I'm going to uncheck this and we're going to adjust the size. So there it is. We're going to adjust the size to something like, let's do 380, something like this. So we see the first one is going to animate in. The second one, let's uncheck this. We're going to take the size right about in between here, something like 730. So now we have the first one, the second one, and the third one. And if I preview this, it's looking nice. It definitely has that personality. So yeah, it's going to work. Now I'm going to press U to see all the keys. Press U again to hide them. I'm going to select all of these. We're going to pre-comp. Remember, we learned about pre-comp. Control Shift C. And we're going to call this one Wipe. Press OK. Now it did create a new composition or project panel. So let's put that in the pre-comp folder. And now we have a Wipe and we have our graphic. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have this wipe, but I'm going to duplicate it. Control D to duplicate it. And then again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to offset it by five frames. Hold down Alt as you have it selected and then page down five times. One, two, three, four, five. Next, I want the first one to animate, but then the second one, this one right here, this is where I want for my graphic to appear. So I want my text, this one right here, to appear where the pink is right here. So to do that, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select this and move it up and we're gonna line up with this transition. And then I want this text layer, this purple comp. I want it to grab the alpha channel from the layer above. And to do that, we're gonna click on this drop down menu and we're gonna select alpha mat from wipe, this wipe layer. When you do that, it's gonna grab it, it's gonna make it invisible. And now you can see, we see the first transition, this layer right here, and then it reveals our text. So let's preview this. So that's how we improve our animation using simple keyframe easing. All right, well, this is the end of this video. I really hope you found it useful. In the next video, we're gonna talk about animating text in After Effects. I'll see you there.